please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Halloween, Geneva. I'm Liza Peters. And I'm Izzy Schamberger. And coming up on today's show, we have some club updates. Plus, we have some spooky surprises in store. So stay tuned, because the spooky edition of GTV News starts right now! Everything changes. <laughs> Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements for this spooky October 31st, 2018. You may have seen some fantastic group costumes from all the teachers here at GHS, and you have the chance to vote for which costumes you thought were the best by visiting the link bit.ly slash GHS Halloween 18. The poll will be open today from 10 a.m. to 11.30 p.m., and the link has also been sent to your student email. All of those that submit a response will be entered for a chance to win a $25 gift card, so don't forget to cast your vote. In the mood for a spooky Halloween party with tasty treats, fun games, and contests? Then come on down to French Club meeting after school today in Madame Bello's room. This meeting will be a Halloween celebration with a, with a costume contest, so be sure to stop on by this spooky event. Spring might seem like a while away, but it is never too early to start conditioning for the girls' soccer season. If you are thinking of trying out for the team, meet today after school on the upstairs track. They will meet every Wednesday after school from 3 to 4, so make sure to bring running shoes and athletic clothes. The girls' gymnastics team will be having an informational meeting right after school today in EE184. All girls are welcome to stop on by. Izzy, I thought about dressing up as a hockey player for Halloween instead of wearing this. Well, Eliza, there's one student here at the high school that's putting on a hockey jersey and getting on the ice as a part of his everyday life. Take a look. To look at Owen Power, you would never think there was more to him than a normal American student. Should I call on you first, Owen? No. No. Owen is a kid who would kind of like to fade into the background a little bit. He's quiet, he sort of keeps to himself, but he also knows when to jump in and participate in discussion and interact with his peers. He's just, he's a fun kid to have in class. Normal, but with a twist. Oh, he is from the Canadian schooling system, so coming into American schools, he definitely has some cultural and educational areas where he hasn't been as uh, robust as normal American students would have. Government creates the National Labor Relations Board through the National Labor Relations Act. Well, American history is a struggle just because I don't got any of the background information coming from Canada, so that one's, that one's tough. I don't think it's been much of an adjustment, just time management. I don't have as much time as I did back home. Part of the reason for Owen's lack of time is because at the sound of the bell, most students are off to their next class. But Owen is off to what he's really in Geneva to do. I kind of fell in love with the game and loved being out on the ice. So whenever I could, I would go out for as long as I could, just working on different, different skills, skating. So I think that's helped a lot. Playing in the USHL and then going to college, this is this is the best league to play in. The vast majority of our players are going to play Division One hockey. Ford, you could be more like the net front guy here. When I was younger, I was never really that good, so I've had to work through that, but it's worked out fine, I think. It's pretty impressive what he's done. He's played in every situation for us since the start of the year. The kid works really hard. He applies the concepts um, that we work on almost immediately to his game, which is a really special attribute to have as a player. That was a good job by Grohl hunting the puck. With hard work and dedication, Owen is looking to sharpen his skills to the next level. He's out there getting better at something he knows he needs to get better, and we don't have to sit there and hold his hand. White win! I see him on the ice first usually, off the ice last. <laughs> he's feeling it right now. The sky's the limit. You know, I wouldn't put a ceiling on, uh, on his future. You know, he's committed to Michigan. I think he'll be a really good player for them. He'll be a, a pro hockey player at the highest level. He's got a few more years before his draft year, and if he keeps up the hard work and he continues to improve every day and has the right mindset, he could have a very successful hockey career. 
Even though it was a tough decision, Owen knows he's taking the right strides towards his ultimate goal. Obviously leaving family was really hard, but at the end of the day, I think this is the best, best route for me to take, and I think it will be worth it in the long run. And even through his toughest moments, Owen is never willing to give up. Victor the Viking, I'm glad you were able to join us on the show today. It's good to be here with you, Easter Bunny. And you know, as much as I love that unicorn Halloween costume, it is a little hard to breathe in it, so I decided to change it up for the second half of the show. Well, changing up costumes can get a little exhausting, but lucky for you, if you're in need of an extra boost to get you through the rest of the day, Vikings Coffee will be open fr from periods 4 through 7. The Vikings Coffee helps students get the energy to help them through the rest of the long day, so be sure to stop on by and pick up a fresh brewed cup of joe. So all National Honor Society inductees please, check, inductees, please check your school email for details of upcoming information about the week's important meeting being held this Friday. If you have any questions or need more information, please contact Mrs. Spieth in Counseling and Advising Office. The GHS seasonal fall play is here. They will be putting on the performance The Rhymers of Eldritch. They will be performing tomorrow, November 1st through Saturday the 3rd in the auditorium. Student tickets will go for $7, where parent and adult tickets will be sold for $10. We would like to remind you that even though it is a very well-produced play, it is not suitable for younger audiences. And now here's three to know before we go. Head to French Club's Halloween meeting today after school. Purchase your tickets for this year's fall play. And vote for your favorite teacher costumes during lunch and have a fun and safe Halloween. Well, Geneva, that is all the news we have for you today on this Halloween edition of GTV. I'm Eliza Peters. And I'm Izzy Schamberger. Have a haunting Halloween, Geneva.